Hey everyone, so I woke up early this morning so that I could film and edit and upload this video before I had to leave to go to my appointment because I really wanted to put this vlog up for you guys and I sat down to film and my bed was not made and normally making my bed for my videos never bothers me because I make my bed every day anyways. I just feel like it makes my room look a little bit prettier and um, this morning for some reason I was like I really wish I didn't have to make my bed this morning because yesterday Michael Buckley actually tweeted like I could never be a makeup guru because they always have their beds in the background so they have to make it before they film and I laughed because I was like it doesn't bother me. This morning it really got to me because I woke up and I was like running around and I was like I'm gonna film this vlog and I was like throwing on my makeup and I was like what am I gonna wear and all this stuff and um, it was like then I sit down and I'm like I have to make my bed I haven't made my bed yet anyways it just it was funny to me but today I'm doing the holiday tag second edition which apparently last year there was a holiday tag and I don't know which rock I was living under but it must have been a pretty big one because I did not do a holiday tag last year and I don't even remember seeing one which is kind of sad because I would have loved to do one last year I love the holidays and I love tag videos so those go perfectly together but my friend Bethany actually created her own tag which is the second edition holiday tag it's kind of the same thing you just answer like fun holiday um like questions I guess and um anyway oh my point of telling you that I woke up early to film this video was to let you guys know that I've not had a cup of coffee yet and I've I don't remember the last time I filmed when I had not either had a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, something with caffeine, before I filmed. Um, so I was going to let you guys know that if I'm talking slower, that's the reason. But now that I'm filming, I feel like I'm not really talking slower. I know a lot of you guys ask me to talk slower because I guess it's like confusing to keep up with or something. But this is the way I talk and I can't really slow it down. I just get really, really excited to film these videos. And um, yeah, but what was I talking about? Oh, so Bethany made this second edition tag. She tagged me to do it. Of course I wanted to do it. But I did, did that just come out of my mouth, right? Sometimes I talk and I think that I'm saying something and then in editing, I'm like, you did not just say what you thought you were saying at that moment. What, but what did I think I was saying? I don't remember. I'm so frazzled and scatterbrained right now because I really just want to film this and edit it and upload it and then I have to like jet off and leave and I don't know if I'm going to have time and oh my gosh, I'm getting so nervous. Okay, anyways, but I did not do the holiday edition. <laughs> this is not going to make any sense. I did not do the holiday edition tag last holiday season. So I haven't decided if I'm going to name this video Tag Holiday Edition or Tag Holiday Second Edition because I never did a first edition. I don't know. Anyways, I tag all of you guys to do this. I hope you want to do this video as well. All you have to do is answer the questions I'm about to answer, upload it as a video response, and I would love, love, love to see them. And I just want to show you guys something really fast. I am totally wearing my Old Navy um, Christmas sweats that Lauren got me. Um, seventh grade, eighth grade Christmas, one of those two grades, Lauren got me, I, it was eighth grade, eighth grade Christmas, Lauren got me these, and I wear them year round, they're just really comfy, but you guys know that I always try to dress up from like here up where you guys can see, because that's all you'll ever see, and then I'm always wearing sweatpants on the bottom, and most of the time some big fluffy slippers, but yeah, I just really wanted to show you guys that I am totally in the holiday spirit, but this is like the longest intro ever, but you guys know I do really long intros. I'm sorry. Maybe I should start putting a little annotation that's like, if you would like to skip my extremely, insanely, abnormally, non-necessary intro, click at five minutes in or something like that. Anyways, okay, so here are the questions. I'm going to try to answer these and upload it, and yay, I'm really excited. Okay, question number one. What, which holiday do you, what holiday do you, which holiday do you celebrate? I'm sorry, I'm going crazy. Which holiday do you celebrate? I, okay, my family celebrates Thanksgiving, and then, so this is like for the whole holiday season. We celebrate Thanksgiving, and then we do Christmas Eve, which is kind of like its own holiday in itself, and then we do Christmas Day, and then we do New Year's, so we do like New Year's Eve. We normally like have a little party or something like that. Okay, so those are the holidays that I celebrate. What are you doing for the holidays this year? Normally, Thanksgiving is the holiday that our entire family gets together and we all have it together. And then, like, because my dad has three brothers and a sister and then my mom has a brother and a sister and they all have, like, kids and stuff. So we have a pretty big family and for Christmas, each, like, individual immediate family has their own little Christmas at their own house. And then I know a lot of people, like, their entire families get together for Christmas. Mine actually don't do that. We have, like, our own little... Christmas um, together but for Thanksgiving we normally all get together and have a huge Thanksgiving feast and um, it actually 
didn't happen this year. My grandmother came and had Thanksgiving meal with us. Um, but so for Thanksgiving, we just got up and actually I tweeted at like 1145. I was like, yay, I get to go watch the Macy's Day Thanksgiving, Macy's Thanksgiving Day, pray, Macy's Day Thanksgiving Day Pray, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Pray. And I tweeted at like 1145 and everyone was like, um, it's almost over. And I was like, what are you talking about? It's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It lasts all day. And I walked downstairs and like two seconds later, it was like, and there goes the Santa float, the last float always on the Thanksgiving Day Pray. I was like, what? It ends at 12 o'clock? Anyway, so I was really upset because I didn't get to watch that this year, but we T-voted it, so I kind of like skipped through it and saw the performances that I wanted to, which kind of is a little bit better because some of them, I don't know, I think are kind of a little bit boring. Um, anyways, yeah, so that's what we did for Thanksgiving. We all just hung out all day. We cooked. We had a lot of fun. And then for Christmas Eve, we always have kind of like another Thanksgiving feast. It's like my mom spends all day cooking, but this time she cooks a ham instead of a turkey. And, um, so she cooks the ham and we have all the same sides. We have a huge feast on Christmas Eve and then we get to open one present on Christmas Eve, which is like a little tradition for us. Um, I know a lot of people open all their presents on Christmas Eve or none of their presents. We open one and my mom always puts a star when she's wrapping it because, okay, the way Christmas works at my house, I know it works differently at everyone's house or no matter what holiday you celebrate, but the way Christmas works at my house is Santa Claus brings you one present. He doesn't wrap it or anything like that. He just brings it and he leaves it on Christmas Eve, um, like, you know, he leaves it for us. And then my mom and dad get us all the other presents and they wrap them and put them under the tree. Um, so out of the ones that are wrapped and put under the tree, obviously, because Santa Claus hasn't come yet, so we don't get to know, you know, what he's bringing us. But out of the ones that are wrapped and put under the tree that are just from like mom and dad or from me or Elle or something like that, we get to choose one of those presents to open up and mom always puts a star on like one of them for each of us and that's the one that she always kind of tries to hint at us to open and when i was little i never understood why there was a star on the one that she always wanted us to open but since obviously she was telling me to open it on that night i didn't want to open that one i was always open the biggest box and so Elle was always you know very like okay mother you know i'm gonna open this on yay and it was always something really fun like pajamas and a robe and slippers like a little set to sleep in on christmas eve or a movie that's really fun that she could like watch before bed i always opened the biggest box it was always like a dollhouse and i was like i cannot sleep in my Barbie dollhouse. Like I try to like climb in the dollhouse and I was like, this is not going to work. Anyways, um, I learned when I was like 12 years old to open the one that mom puts the star on because it's always pajamas. And I don't know about you guys, but like opening pajamas on Christmas Eve at nighttime and then you get to like climb in them and get in bed. I just think it's so fun. Um, so I didn't learn that till I was like 12 years old, but now, now, my, now, now, what? Now my, now my littlest sister is at the age where she like doesn't want to open the one we tell her to because now Elle and I are always opening um, pajamas and then our little sister always goes to open like the biggest present and then she's upset she doesn't have pajamas so most of the time mom lets her open that one too. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that was like, oh, and then for New Year's Eve, um, that was always the one night a year that Elle and I were allowed to stay up as late as we wanted and mom and dad would always get um, orange soda, like Sunkissed, and Andy's mints. I don't know why, but they were like, you know, the little Andy's like mint chocolates and we were allowed to eat as many as, of them as we want. And of course, they only bought a few for each of us, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But like we were told we could eat as many as we want and have as much orange soda as we want, which was like one can each. And we always thought we would stay up all night every year and we would always get a coloring book. It was normally like Winnie the Pooh or something. And we were told that we could stay up all night. And it was like the funnest thing. And we would like write down our New Year's resolutions and stuff. So now that we're a little bit older, um, I'm not quite sure what we're going to be doing for New Year's Eve. I'm sure we'll just, you know, stay with our family. We'll stay in and um, have something fun for our little sister to do and just stay up, watch the ball drop, and then go to sleep because we're kind of a little bit boring. Um, number three, did I cover, wait, did I cover all the holidays? I think I did for what we do. Oh, Christmas. <laughs> Okay, on Christmas we wake up. This is going to be a very long video. I'm sorry. I hope you guys don't mind. Okay, because what happens is Elle is able to sleep so long. Elle can sleep like until noon. The latest I've ever slept I think is like 1130, which is kind of close to noon, but like Elle can sleep till noon any day you let her. Um, and mom and dad, you know, it's just like any day really to them. Um, I always got really excited. I would always like, my parents would tell me because I could never fall to sleep on Christmas Eve, they were like, count sheep. And of course, when I count sheep, going through my mind, I count sheep and I make them wear like cute little pink tutus and high heels and they're like hopping around my mind and I like dress each of them up. I swear, 
One Christmas Eve, I counted a million sheep and I still was not asleep. And then I looked and it was like three o'clock and we have this rule where you can't get up before 3 a.m. But it was 3 a.m. So I ran around, I woke everybody up, we open our presents and then we go back to sleep. But lately I've been sleeping in a little bit later. Our little sister is actually able to sleep in as much as Elle is able to sleep in. So what I've been doing lately, and I'm sorry, mom and dad, if you're watching this, but I will wake up my little sister at like 5 a.m. when I wake up and I'll have her go wake up my parents like all excited because once I wake her up, she's really, really excited for Christmas. So I'll wake her up and then I'll have her go wake my parents up so that it's not like me, the 17 year old, like waking everybody up. Um, I make like my little sister do it because they of course get all excited for her because it's like a bigger deal for her. Um, Cause she just hasn't had as many Christmases and stuff. And I don't know, I feel like Christmas is so magical when you're younger and stuff. And I don't know, so sorry, mom and dad. Cause they always tell me that as long as, you know, everybody else is sleeping, I'm not allowed to wake them up anymore. That, you know, our little sister has to be able to wake everybody up. But I've been waking her up the last couple of years. Sorry. Okay, so number three, what's your favorite holiday drink? Definitely a Starbucks white peppermint mocha. Last year, Bethany actually likes this too, the girl who tagged me for this video. I'll link her um, video in the bottom bar. She actually loves this drink too, and it's funny because last like holiday season, we were tweeting back and forth like what day, which of us would go get the peppermint white mocha. Like It was so fun, um, but my voice is kind of going out a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's like definitely my favorite holiday drink. Um, I like the Starbucks peppermint mochas as well, but the peppermint white mochas just, oh, they're so much better. Okay, number four, candy cane or gingerbread men? As much as I would like to say candy cane because I feel like I eat way more candy canes over the holiday season, I actually like gingerbread men better, but I eat so many more candy canes. But the gingerbread men are just so deliciously scrum diddlyumptiously yummy that I have to go with them. Number five, favorite holiday or Christmas song. I have a very important favorite Christmas song that I sing every single year, and that is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That is like my favorite song in the whole wide world because you get to like throw those little fun things because it's like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose like a light bulb. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows like a flashlight. Like I love those little things that you like throw in there and it's like something like Pinocchio and Monopoly and oh, it's so fun. I just really like it. Um, and then the other Christmas song I like is that Britney Spears song. What is it? Like Santa, can you hear me? I've been so good this year and all I want is one thing. Tell me my true love is here. It's all I want just for me underneath my Christmas tree. I'll be waiting here. Santa, that's my only wish this year. Only wish or this year or something like that. I really like that song as well. Oh. And there's the one that was originally sang by someone else and then Kelly Clarkson covered it that was like my grown up Christmas uh my grown up Christmas wish my grown up Christmas list list. Um I like that one as well, but Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer has got to be my favorite. I was always the little kid in my class that like everyone would be singing it. So, you know, like Rudolph the Red-Nosed and all I would do is just like scream out the fun little parts because they're so much fun. This is a very long video. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh number 6, weirdest gift you've ever received. Um, oh, okay, so Santa Claus, I already told you guys, I think I told you guys, or maybe I just thought it, but Santa Claus brings us one big present. Did I tell you guys this? I don't even remember. Okay, so Santa Claus, like, yeah, I told you guys, our parents give us all the presents and Santa gets to bring us one present that's not unwrapped. Well, one year, all I really wanted was a fiddle. Um, you might call it a violin, you might call it, you know, I don't know, something else, whatever other names for a fiddle or violin there is. I liked to call it a fiddle and I really wanted to be a fiddle player. So of course I asked Santa Claus for a fiddle, you know, because that's what you do when you want to be a fiddle player. So I run downstairs one Christmas morning and I'm so excited to receive my fiddle and there's a fiddle there, but then right next to it, there's an electric guitar. Now. It's not that I didn't like the electric guitar. I was just very confused as to why Santa brought me a fiddle and an electric guitar because I had tried guitars before and they just didn't work for me. Like I tried a guitar when I was in like second grade. I tried to play a guitar and like I went to lessons and everything and I just couldn't get it down. And all I really wanted was a fiddle. And now looking back on it, I understand. But at the time I was so confused. My dad came over and said, oh, Santa works in mysterious ways because Santa doesn't bring my parents presents. And it, I guess he just really wanted it. I don't know if Santa brought it for it. I still am completely confused about it, but that's definitely the weirdest gift because I still don't understand. Needless to say, that electric guitar went to my dad. I'm not exactly sure if Santa meant for that, if I was just 
confused. I just wanted my fiddle, and I got my fiddle. So the electric guitar, apparently, I don't know, maybe the music store up in the North Pole was having like a buy one instrument, get one free or something. I don't know, but my dad was very, very excited about that electric guitar. Um, oh, and Santa brought Elle an extra gift that year, which was actually for my mom. So I think there was something a little bit tricky going on that year, but it was very weird in the moment because I just did not understand when all I wanted was a fiddle. Why was Santa Claus bringing me an electric guitar? I did, I did not know. Number seven, have you ever made a snowman? Yes, it snows every year where I live or where I used to live. Now I live in Los Angeles, California, but where my parents live and where I grew up living, it would snow every winter and we would all go out and build snowmen. A favorite winter fragrance? Okay, for me to actually wear, it's Bath & Body Works Vanilla Bean Noel or Warm Candy Apple. They're both Bath & Body Works limited edition holiday fragrances that come out every year. Um, I love those for me to wear. My favorite like scent from Bath & Body Works though, oh my goodness, my neck just cricketed. Cricketed? Cricked? What's that called when you like bend your neck and it's like, <laughs> yeah, that one, uh, my neck just <laughs> cricketed. Okay. Next, oh, no, um, but I love homemade cookie. Is that what it's called? What's it called? I have it right here. Homemade cookies from Bath & Body Works. I actually haven't lit this one yet, which is why it's on my vanity. Um, yeah, homemade cookies is my favorite, like, scent to get to, like, put in my room. And this is the first year I've ever gotten it. I don't even know if it was available before this. But, um, yeah, okay. Number nine, what is at the top of your Christmas wish list? This year, I actually, this is the first year that I haven't lived at my parents' house during the holiday season, so I actually get to, like, go home um, for the holiday season. So this year, all I really want is to go home. Like, I never, I really underestimated how much I was going to miss my family and stuff, but I think the hardest person me moving away on has been my little sister. We were really, really close um, every single day when I would come home from school. Before, okay, before she went to school, every day when I would come home from school, she would be waiting on me and we would get a little snack together and then we would go up to my room. I had this Papazon couch in my room and um, it was before I even started doing videos and we would go up to my room and we would watch a TV show and eat our little snack and I didn't realize until later that she was always with me when I did that. Like sometimes we wouldn't even say anything to each other. It was just like known that we would watch a show together um, and she has slept with me in my bed. She has her own room and stuff. She would sleep in my bed every single night since she stopped like nursing with mom. Um, we were just, we were really, really close. And since I moved away, I think it's been a little bit harder on her. You know, all of a sudden she's having to sleep in this big bedroom all by herself. And, you know, she doesn't have, I feel like I was something stable in her life. And, you know, we, we had our little traditions and stuff and I think it's been kind of hard on her and it's I think it it might be even harder on me because I know how hard it is on her but um so this year I think the way Santa works is up there in the North Pole each person has a little bit amount of elf money and then whatever they want there's a hair in my mouth whatever they want from Santa Claus their elf money they get to spend that much elf money on a gift from the elves that they make and then Santa brings it to you. I want my elf money to go to her. I really just want her to have an amazing Christmas because what's going to be important for me is just being home, seeing my mom, my dad, my puppies, my little sister. For her, you know, she's eight years old. She's still at the age where it's really fun to get, you know, something exciting for Christmas. For me, it's not about the presents. Um, so I really, the top of my Christmas wish list is actually for my elf money to go to her and for her to be able to get something that she really wants that she doesn't expect she's going to get for Christmas. Um, but, you know, you never know how Santa works, so I don't know if that's going to happen, uh, but that's what's at the top of my wish list. Number 10, what is most important to you about the holidays? I would have always answered this question as just being around my family for the holidays because it's a time of year where my dad doesn't have to wake up earlier than me. He's not gone before I even wake up every morning and come back really late at night. Um, it's a time when my mom isn't stressed out. She's really, you know, fun and happy and we're just all such a happy family. You know, Elle and I never had to go to school over the holiday, so it was just always a time where my family got to be together. Now that I have moved away, and I'm not even close to them, I'm a six hour plane ride away from my parents. So that's, that's like a big deal. It's not like I can just hop in the car and drive over to them. 
Um, so I'm really excited just to have these, you know, two weeks or however, where Elle and I are actually going home really, really soon, like very soon we're going to go home and we're going to spend just like two or three weeks at home with my parents and my family. And it's just going to be a really, really great time. I'm super excited to go home, but like, I think I really underestimated how much I was going to miss them. And I think, you know, I already said this, that how much it was going to mean to me to have the time to go back to them. So if I slack on videos a little bit, I hope you guys know that I truly am sorry. I'm going to try my hardest. I have planned out videos that I'm going to do while I'm there. As of now, I'm still planning to do, you know, just as many videos as I normally would. But if I miss a day or if it goes a little bit longer than normal throughout, you know, the breaks in my videos, I hope you guys understand that this is the only time I'm going to get to see my family again until you know the next time I go home but this is the time when it's the holidays you're supposed to be with your family and spending time with them so yeah that's what I'm going to be doing I hope you guys understand that you know if I don't put up videos and I'm not saying I'm not going to because I, as of now I'm planning on it but if I don't that's why so those are my answers to the holiday second edition tag. Um, I tag all of you. I really hope you want to do this and leave it as a video response. If you can't do a video response for any reason, leave it in the comments below and let me know your answer to those 10 questions. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I know it was a really long video, but um, yeah, that's how all my videos are. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.